Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, get out of the tree. Whoa. Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen. And when it gets hot in the summertime, one of the baits I like, or one of the rigs I like to go to is a drop shot rig, and I like to fish vertical. I call it playing a video game. And you basically set your fish finder up so you can do this. Set up a drop shot rig and go to town. Let's see if I can get this spotted bass in. He just, I love spotted bass. I love to fish for them because they never give up. That little bitty dog right there was just pulling. Sweetness. Caught it on a plasma tail from Biospawn, of course. <laughs> but uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to show you how to set up the fish finder. Um, and uh, show you what it looks like dropping down and how to, how to get pinpointed on a brush pile, a bunch of other things. It's mostly going to be technical stuff with just a little bit of fishing move mixed in. So it might be a little boring, but I promise you, you're going to learn something by the end of it. So stay tuned. All right, well, let's talk about how I set up my fish finder for, for drop shot fishing. Uh, the biggest thing is, is I always have my sensitivity as high as I can get it and still be able to see. Notice what happens as I get higher and higher, it starts to black out. So I'm going to try to find a happy medium. Coming up on a brush pile right there. That's a fish, a little bitty fish. And my happy medium is about 70 to 72 in sensitivity. Color line about the same. It really doesn't matter because that's talking about the bottom and I don't really care much about the bottom. But uh, you're always going to have a little bit of clutter. I turn the surface clarity off. I turn everything else off because all I'm concerned with is deep water anyway. The deep, the shallowest that I'll do this technique is uh, uh, depends on the water clarity, but uh, they usually don't get very deep if the water's dirty, but um, is 12 feet. If I get any shallower than 12 feet, I feel like I'm spooking the fish. So I'm not going to not going to even bother looking any shallower than that. So then when the fish get deeper than that, that's when I'm doing this technique. Okay, and I set this up. You got two frequencies on this on this fish finder. You have 83 kilohertz, actually three. You have 50 kilohertz and you have 200 kilohertz. And on my when I have it set up for the front fish finder, there's only two. There's 200 and there's 83. The the small or the the lower the number, the wider the range of your the cone coming off this drop shot. Here's a fish right here, uh, down pretty deep, two of them. But uh, they, so I always have it set on 83. If you have a fish finder that can, can do two frequencies at the same time, like the chirp technology can do, you wanna have it set for 200, which is your small cone, and you want it set for, you want 200 and you want 83. Okay, so what that gives you is you can see with the broad spectrum, but you can also, with the 200, you can see when you're directly over top of the brush piles or right over top of the fish, and you can drop down right on top of them. Just gives you a little bit more information. So um, that's basically all, I, all how I set it up. Now, with um, what the pages I like to use, the one what I'll do is I'll put it on my, my map and my uh, regular sonar. I don't use down, down imaging or, or, uh, side, or side scan or side imaging on this. But, um, but anyway, so this is, that's what I'm doing. I'm basically just, just watching my, my, uh, my GPS points. I'm trying to stay up on this hump. See that hump right there? Trying to stay up around this hump, and I've been catching all my fish right here in this spot. So I've been zigzagging and going across this spot until I see a fish, and then I drop down on it and, uh, and try to catch it. So that's that. I hope you understand it. Uh, it's, uh, it's not that complicated. It just understand that you're not going to get this perfectly clear. You know, if you if you want it clear, it's uh, you're going to miss a whole bunch of uh, of detail. So, well, that's that. Let's get let me uh, go and show you how I set up my drop shot and how I uh, and how I fish it. It's pretty easy. All right. While I'm getting over to my next spot, um, let me talk about the the equipment that I'm using. First of all, I've got a Dobbins Fury. This is the new Dobbins Fury. It's a, it's a 702 SF. It's their medium light action drop shot. Uh, and uh, I mainly bought it for a shaky head, but it, it's an excellent, excellent drop shot rod. Got a great bend to it. Uh, real, really a good drop shot when you're using these open hooks, these little light wire hooks. So 
I've got it paired with a lose uh, uh, team lose gold uh, 2000 size series or two, uh, size 2000 whatever they call it spinning reel power pro braid 15 pound test and then I've also got it a uh, I've got a eight pound or an eight foot eight pound test fluorocarbon leader on there joined with an FG knot and then uh, a number one light wire mosquito hook a uh, biospawn plasma tail worm in uh, green with um, a gold and purple flake green pumpkin gold and purple flake and then I'm using a half ounce cylindrical weight because I'm fishing deep I want to get the bait down to them fast uh, winds blowing everything else so I want to be able to get it down there fast so that cylindrical weight just cuts through the water and gets me down there as fast as I can so a little bit of an overkill in most situations but since I'm fighting the wind and the current and everything else or mainly the wind and I'm fishing 20 plus deep, feet deep or 16 to 25 feet deep that's why I use it so that's my equipment Let's see if I can catch another fish I see my bait going down or my drop shot going down there's it going down little line stop right above that brush pile Now the reason that brush pile looks so thick is because it's basically the top of an oak tree that's still got leaves on it. Found that out the hard way. Got hung up and pulled up a leaf. So there's, a, there's a fish right on top of it. The fish is right above that brush pile. It's right where my bait is. All right, so I can come to the conclusion that he doesn't want it. You see my bait coming back up. All right. There's a fish again. I'm going to try one more time. I'm just going to drop it down on his head. Boop. Nothing. He came out of brush pot a little bit when I came up, but he didn't want it. So, all right. Well, I wanted to end this video with a fish, um, but it looks like I'm about to be run off the water. We got a storm that is from one end of the lake to the other, and I've got about 20 minutes before it gets here, 15 minutes before it gets here. So I'm going to get loaded up. But uh, basically, vertical drop shotting is like I said, it's like playing a video game. You watch your bait go down to the fish. You can stop it at suspended fish, or you can run it down to the bottom and just play around with it sometimes you can run it past the spinning fish and they'll follow it all the way to the bottom and that's when they'll bite you just kind of kind of got to play with it play with what they want big small you know um, shad colored or whatever uh, i usually catch my favorite baits in clear clear water or like uh like watermelon without seeds it's called seedless watermelon um a green pumpkin with a little bit of glitter all natural colors because you're fishing clear water anyway so I guess that about covers it um it's uh it's it's a lot of fun it really is and when you get in a, into them when you get into a school of them or have eight or nine spots that you can run you can really load the boat with some fun fish and uh, especially spotted bass and smallmouth but uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you take it out and learn something. But like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to uh, this wonderful sport that we enjoy and then show them my videos. Let me help you help them to uh, learn how to fish. And uh, more importantly, get out on the water, go out and catch some fish and have some fun. Oh, be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, do all of that other stuff that I always ask you to do and, uh, and have a great day. Thanks. Oh, and guys, please be sure to check out my major sponsor, uh, sponsor Biospawn. I was using their plasma tail today. Um, they are really making innovative baits. They, uh, I got a chance to spend last week at, at ICAST with them and, uh, and talked about some of the things that are coming down the, down the, the road and, it's amazing what they're doing for being such a new company. But they're my major sponsor. They're one of them, and they are really helping me to continue to do what I'm doing and to make it bigger 
than, than it's been ever before. I, I got some great plans for the future and it's because of them that I'm able to do it. So check them out, biospawn.com. I'll put the link down in the description. Thanks.